about to show you is just as relevant on any printer because as you probably know with the the more modern more modern or Chinese type printers that have that special glass surface that you print on if you have a power fail for longer than I don't know 10 15 minutes then the bed cools down and your part can fall off so you can't restart it anyway or there's a couple around in the same format as this FT5 where if the power fails the motors unlock and the, the bed falls down and again you can't restart so what I've done here I'm going to simulate a restart of this print now the reason I'm doing that is because I don't like to let printers run if I'm not in attendance or if I go to bed. Now this particular print was going way longer than I thought it would and I was tired and wanted to go to bed. So you'll see in a moment what happens when I uh, turn off the printer purposely. There are other uh, scenarios where this is uh, useful as well like if your print fails at a certain level or if you run out of filament and you don't have a filament run out detector or, or any of those type of scenarios you will see that this would be very very useful what I'm about to show you right there we go the print has stopped and I'm going to take it off the bed like so have failed me for the last time Admiral. okay now we go back into your slicer in this case it's simplify 3d and because I turned the printer off purposely I took note of the Z height of the print before I turned it off if you didn't do that you would have to measure up from the bed surface to where it stopped to get this Z offset figure now I always start at minus one just in case the base of the model isn't quite flat and you'll see up there where it says Z offset I'm going to put in a minus figure of where the print stopped. Now as I say you could either measure this or make a note of it if you turn it off purposefully. So I've put it in and down it goes it sinks into the bed at the point where it stopped printing now you'll see that we didn't have all that much to go but you'll note that where it's actually sliced through his head it leaves some points like this that may be an adhesion problem so you just need to check your adhesion Um, I also increased the top layers while I was at it, only needed one bottom layer. I also increased the infill because of the shape of his helmet. Now you can do all of these things, you can change anything you want at this point. So then we slice it and there it is, that's the part that we're going to print. So we just save it in the normal way. Now most slicers have the ability to do this, to drop a print down into the bed. Um, I know one or two that doesn't, uh, Z Suite being one. Your skills are complete. Okay, now we're just going to print the head. Now the absolute critical part of this process is you have to get that height absolutely spot on. There's another way that you can check that you have your cut line in the right place and that's if the model has something that you can relate to like in this case on Darth's helmet there was a grid that you can look at and when you do the cut you can make sure that the cut is in that grid at exactly the same place as it was. Some models you can't do that but uh, a lot of them you can and you can just line up the pattern on the surface of the print.
Okay, his head's been printed. Now it's just simply a matter of making sure it's nice and tidy around the edges. You don't want any elephant foot or anything like that. You can just give it a, a sand or a, or a scrape around the edges so that they line up perfectly. And there you can see that there was less infill in the body. Whack a bit of this magic super glue around on the edges. Not too much, you don't want it spewing out everywhere. Now this is Pet G um, and super glue usually sticks it okay. PLA is no problem and if it was ABS I would just use acetone to stick it. Okay, now you've got to very, very carefully line it up so that all the little facets and all the lines line up absolutely perfectly, which can be a, more of a challenge than you might think. And hold it till it sets. And there you go. You've got a complete model. You can barely see the line. Indeed you are powerful, as the Emperor has foreseen. So here's just a, a closer view with it sitting on the stand. As I said, this model is available, I think it was on my mini factory. The link will be in the description. But it came out really nicely. And I've done no finishing on this whatsoever. That's totally straight from the printer. So there you have it. If you have a print that you really want to save that's been maybe printing for two or three days and you lose the top, then this is the way to fix it. It's not always perfect, but it's worth a try if you want to salvage a, a long or large print. And that's about it for this video. Plenty more to come, so stay tuned, subscribe, hit the bell. There's lots of stuff coming up. And may the force be with you.